Christy, we got a huge announcement for our viewers today. Yep, we sure do. It's big. This one's big. Yeah, a new 2038R. We just got it. AHW, a local John Deere dealer. And it's also the owner of the greenpartsstore.com website. You probably saw a video from us the other day on the load and go. That was kind of the, the first hint of what was going on here. But AHW reached out to us and wanted to help us have some different equipment on the site. Yeah. And uh, different equipment here on our channel. And what we'd like to do is to help you, the viewer, answer some questions about which size tractor you'd like to get. Here's an example of one we got just this afternoon. It says, I'm kind of torn between the 2025 r and the 2032 r I'll be pulling with a half-ton pickup, so I'm leaning towards the 2025 r plus the price tag is more appealing. I'm curious on your thoughts between these two tractors. We get these kinds of questions all the time, and sometimes we just didn't know the answers. No, because we don't have a 2025R, a 2032R, or a 2038R. Right, and while we've had experience, some experience on a 2025R, we've never been able to really give good, honest evaluations of the different size tractors. So with that in mind, AHW said, hey, why don't you try out some of these tractors? Now, by try out, this is, arrangement is a rental arrangement. We actually have multiple pieces of equipment. You'll see them, the rest of them, over the course of the next week or He's so. He's teasing you right now. I am teasing you. Yeah. yeah. Is that a teaser? Come back after this commercial break. No. Come back for our next episodes where we'll show you the other tractors. The other equipment, I should say. That's too much of a tease, Christy. Yeah. Oh, well. One piece is my favorite. <laughs> But this is a rental arrangement. We're paying what we think is a lot of rent, but... Made me say ouch as the finance committee. <laughs> so this is not a free arrangement to us at all, but it turns out that AHW is subsidizing the bulk of the rent. So I guess this John Deere equipment is expensive, especially to rent. At the end of a one year period, then we get to decide whether we want to buy it or we can return that equipment. So. We got it for a year. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, this 2038R, we've got a loader and a backhoe with it. And a uh, mower. And a mower. And so today, Christy's gonna play with the mower. Yep, it's always my job to mow anyway. Even with Johnny, I was the person, the mowing person. Absolutely. So. And now we'll she's see. got a lot more work because now we got five, oh six goodness. acres. Yeah. Kind of brings up another point. I believe we will be showing some more mowing this season. Uh, we have several uh, units now to mow with, and we will just kind of give you some more evaluation on what we think uh, of the mowers and how they right. compare and you know what, what we like, what we dislike. To that end, there will be plenty of honest feedback here. We, we are under no obligation to show just the John Deere equipment. Uh, Casey's still along for the ride. Vinny's still along for the ride. If we encounter other equipment we want to see that is not green, we're going to go ahead and see it. This is not in any way restricted. You've seen uh, things that we like about John Deere equipment. We talk about that a lot. You've seen things that we don't care so much about particular features right. on our 1025R or particular things, the way they're done, and, and we voice those. Uh, we've never been hesitant about that. And uh, HW <laughs> understands that and they appreciate the honesty. To thank them, guys, go to greenpartsstore.com uh, buy your filter, lube, whatever you need for your little tractors. Uh, use coupon code TTWT and you'll get free shipping on whatever you order. Okay, I'll get out of the way. Christy's going to mow now. I got a job to do. He just talks all the time. Come on, come on. And it's a new machine. I get to, you know, do something different. I got to mow about one round and then she kicked me off. Get off, yeah. Some things are just mine to do. Now a brief reminder about our new property. We basically live in a swamp. The soil is wet and it remains soft. So it will be interesting to see just how much track this tractor leaves in our yard. Our next door neighbor mows with a first generation 2032R. His yard looks great, so not really concerned about this in the long term.
this strange little mound here. It's pretty steep on the side. I'm going to have to get a weed eater out for it, I think. Otherwise, I think it might scalp. It drives really nicely. So that part I like. Almost looks like I could use a bagger out here. I didn't think it was going to be that tall. Now this is my first time mowing this yard, so I don't really know the pattern I want to go and what's the best way to mow. Our other yard, I had a, a way I could do it that I knew was efficient. But this yard, I just don't know yet. It'll take a little while to get to where I can do it in the shortest amount of time. I'll come over here and say hi to Tim. Well, so far I like it. Yeah? I like the, the wider cut. And it drives just like Johnny, maybe smoother, not as bouncy as Johnny. Yeah? I'm up a little higher out of the grass. Yeah. You know me, I always get uh, nasally from mowing. So I like it. I think I'll go out in the big area and... Yeah, you can probably go a lot faster than that too and still do a good job cutting. Oh, okay. Well, here I was, you know... And you're still getting used to it. Okie dokie. Looks like I got a few rocks in the yard need to be cleaned up there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stay away from the front yard unless we get Benny out. I know what you're thinking, the hat's really bright, but I tend to burn easily, so I need to cover up when I go outside. If you like the hat, you can find it at our Amazon store. Somebody's been playing in the dirt. Uh, my rock's gonna fit under the tree. It actually looks like a pretty nice cut. It's taller than I thought it was. It's or maybe we're, Yeah, or maybe we're mowing too low, I don't know, but... It's our first time mowing this yard. I'm gonna get you all grassy. <laughs> you missed me by an inch. TKV20 out here and suck up all the clippings. You know, at some point we'll worry about getting the right stripes and everything. Right now we're just learning to get it cut.
Well, it's going to take me a while to get very efficient at mowing the grass, but I do like the tractor. Um, it sits really nice. It rides good. Everything's here where I can and reach it. Um, I like, I think Tim called it the command cut where all I have to do is push one button and it goes down to where we've set it for the cut height. So that's really nice. I am looking forward to getting Vinny out though and seeing how uh, it does to mow as well and compare it to, to this one. But I got a lot more yard to mow, so, and I think that might get boring for you guys. So we'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.